I just got back from the coolest, hippest, and youngest Spine Society meeting ever, the Congress of Neurologic Surgeons in LA, CNS for short. It was their 75th anniversary meeting. It's a long time ago, but this society is all about the young guns of neurosurgery. First off, they have in their rules that only people less than 50 years of age can be in a leadership position. That's how they keep it fresh. And of course, they have lots of great programs for aspiring neurosurgical medical school students and residents to help them with their careers. For example, people like my son, Alex, Alex is applying into neurosurgery residency programs this year. And obviously, I am so proud, but just for the record, he chose the specialty himself. I had nothing to do with it whatsoever, I swear. And then there's Dr. Z and Lady Spine Doc. I'm sure you know who they are already. So happy, so fresh. But we also have the giants of spine surgery here too, like Dr. Michael Failings from Toronto, who's a world expert in spinal cord injury. Turns out that our Canadian colleagues are ahead of us in many ways. For example, the latest and greatest bone graft to get approved by our FDA is Pearl Matrix. This just happened. Dr. Failings and all his Canadian colleagues have had it for several years. Dr. Failings moderated a panel session on the latest and greatest in bone grafts, Dr. Paul Park and me. So check out the panel discussion on my YouTube channel. And then on Sunday, we had an all day symposium on minimal invasive surgery honoring Dr. Rick Fest, who by the way, was the first president of the SMS, Society for Minimal Invasive Spine Surgery. My baby, almost 20 years old now, so I kind of knew Dr. Fessler was a big deal even back then. I could not stay for the rest of the meeting because I got my day job to deal with, but I had my fill, and I don't think my brain could handle any more information at this point. So awesome meeting. Thank you, CNS, and thank you for LA for hosting us.